Hello everyone, it's Ubonic Zombie. Welcome back to The Cat Lady. So in the last episode, we went through a lot of cutscenes and we were faced with Dr. X. So I don't know how this is going to go. There is the possibility of dying if we make the wrong mistakes. But as the Queen of Maggots, as she was called on um, one of the trading cards you get for Steam, uh, we can come back as uh, she'll bring us back, which pretty much means that we're going to respawn. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to make the right decisions and it's pretty much don't trust anyone, don't get close to anyone, and we should be okay, but we'll have to see. We are ready to talk. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Let's see, and also said like uh, he's really good at bringing out information, so to be careful about that. So I'm gonna say, yeah, I had a great dad. Yeah, I had a great dad. Oh. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect, but then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? <laughs> it's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Wonderful mom. Yeah, we're gonna be positive. Had a wonderful mom. I can't complain. My mom was great. She brought me up well. Aww, me and her. Pretty lady. We were like best friends. Like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. When Dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it was too much for her. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave up. She died quickly. My father kept fighting it. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. He thought he was unbeatable, but he wasn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. Okay, so I think that was a good thing. We didn't let them get close. We pretty much just... I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Okay, um... The fact that uh, we didn't let, we're not supposed to let anyone get close, so letting him know that we had a good life pretty much doesn't give him any reason to get close to us like that. Okay. Yeah, and this film makes me wonder how many people have died with their heads on it. I'm sure it's been washed many times since then, but it still sends a chill down my spine. Come to think about it, I nearly died here myself. Wait, I did die for a moment, didn't I? Look under. There's nothing interesting under the pillow. Bed. No, I'm not gonna lie down. Clock. The needles are stuck at 10 or 8. It's probably broken or maybe it just needs new batteries. Gloves rack. Examine. It's full of latex gloves. Three different sizes. Gonna take some gloves. Take one glove. Take a lot of gloves. Um, let's take a lot. Can 
we have a band, like our wristband, and we have gloves. Sink. Turn cold water on, turn hot water on, turn tap off. Mm. Turn hot water on. Can we walk out? Yes, we can. Drug chart. Read. It's a list of drugs for patient and side room two. I guess that's me then. I'm on a lot of sedatives, it appears. The stuff they're giving me could knock out a horse and give it a headache for a week two. You could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they give me all of that? I'm not crazy. I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no medical reason. Flowers. Zen. Bunch of chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. Smell. I don't like flowers. I really don't care what they smell like. Okay, let's take flowers. No way I'm taking them. Don't like flowers, especially chrysanthemums. Okay. This one. There's a door. Drug chart. This is a judge with patient asylum one is notes. According to this, her name is Ann Burton, 35 years of age. She's taken a lot of sedatives, has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that on top of it all, she's taken methadone for heroin withdrawal syndrome. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here of her own free will. Lucky lady, I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. Okay. This way. Oh, nope, that's where the nurses are. They'll notice me. The toilet door. There's some Hello. I guess I should wait my turn. Okay. What does happen if we go this way? Letter. It's a discharge letter for Anne Burton, currently a patient in side room 1. It seems she has admitted herself into hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Can I take it? Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Okay. Once we patient files are piled up on the desk. Well, she's gonna stop me if I try to take those. So, those guards. Security. Excuse me, where's the exit? Excuse me. Where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? Let's see. I'll come back later. Please do, Mum. We'll be right here. Okay. Don't want to spread my name around too much. I bet she thinks those red rimmed glasses make her look attractive. 
I know her kind all too well, completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and closed minded. That's pretty rude. Yeah. Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? Was Liz a patient? This must be the patient from Cyberlink 2. God, doesn't, doesn't she look confused? Another suicide patient. Strange, she looks like someone I know. Is that Liz? Hi. Are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses, either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... Elizabeth. No, you're wrong. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. It's like it hasn't been empty for a while. There are a lot of discarded medication pots in there, among other gross stuff. Take one of these medication pots. Note. Please stop running messages on the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high level cleanliness due to sudden absence of our cleaning staff, we ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. Yeah, I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked, a large shard of glass is lying on the side. Take the shard of glass. They find it on me, they'll think I'm a complete psycho, but it might be useful too. I'll risk it. Run hot water. This might be able to fog up the mirror. Oh. 
Tor gedrückt. Ja, yeah, we can, okay. Now, push. How can this help me escape from this horrible place? Shall we swap our name bands? Mother always told me not to talk to strangers. I can't take it. I, I'm being good now. Only talk to my nurses and good friends. Hmm. Maybe I do need to ring that bell. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. Again. Okay. Time to go. So much with this guy so they can find and we do actually look quite similar. Sorry ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh right. Name band. I think I left it in my room. I'll go and get it, shall I? It wasn't you who did it, was it? I don't know what you're talking about. Someone just stuck a bunch of... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. I just hope it's the last time I've put my hands in that stinking toilet. Okay, so I got stuck and I looked 
far enough to know that you're supposed to ring the bell and then you will um, get a different uh, result. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Susan Ashworth, 24th of May, 1970. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. That's fine. That's fine. I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. It will help you relax. That's a good. Let's see. That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. I don't know how I was supposed to figure that out without looking up what I was Go supposed to Go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Sheila. And that is the name of her mother. Okay. Yeah, that's not disturbing at all. Okay. Whoa. 
This is making me really dizzy. Again, I don't know how I was supposed to get to this part unless I looked it up. And I'm sorry for looking it up. I, I try to play all the games I play um, blind, but I really don't... Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> but I don't like getting stuck. And I was stuck for about 20 minutes. Okay. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. So, I know the name of your mother now. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Had to go on a massive drug trip to find out, but here you go. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Something's wrong with this place. I think it's really nice here. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't saw. seem to find it anymore. I see. What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? Are you alright? I feel like sharing what's your name. How about we swap our name How bands? How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. But that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Well... Technically, you wouldn't lose anything, because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. <laughs> I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. That's um, iconic. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you all right? I'm fine. Yes, it's all fine. It's just hard to wait, you know? They said I can have it. You know, yeah? So I wait here. Don't want to miss it. That nurse promised it to me. The one with the red glasses. But I think it's been three hours already. Why are they late? Do you think something happened? Do you think she changed her mind? Because I swear if she did, I will hurt myself again. I swear to God, I will hurt myself again. I'm sure they'll be here in a minute. They're probably just very busy, that's all. Okay. 
feel like sharing? What's your name? There is nothing to share. Everyone died. Everyone. And my treat, my red stuff, it's not the same. I keep lying to myself. I'm a mean little liar. Always have been. This vein, you see, it goes straight to my heart. That's why it hurts so much. I wish I could, just one more time. But it's all lost now. Everything. I was always happy to settle for a consolation prize, you know? So how do I escape this name? About these name bands. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't mind. We can swap our name bands as soon as you bring me the red stuff. But remember, it's hidden. You have to follow the heartbeat of the spider. It's right there, in the world of dreams, the world of nightmares. What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? We're getting the same it's thing over and over again. Pure happiness. <laughs> they bring it. I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without, Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. Methadone. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some other stuff. Do you know where they keep you? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near, and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. Okay, here we go. I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Poor woman. Totally. But I do have the red stuff! Lucky you! Okay. I'm not gonna drink it. Give it to me. I've found the thing you asked me for. But, uh, are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they? You know what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. Oh, what was that sound? Okay, so we have An Annie. Okay, Annie's band. Examine. Let's clip on hospital band. It says Anne Jennifer Burton. Let's see. 15th of November, 1975. Okay. So, but. I am going to end it here because, again, this, uh, these episodes keep dragging on with this game. Uh, but I will be back in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.